These are Harley's and Charlie's toys. And as you can see, she knocks them over and gets them all over the house. Just like when the kids were little. They drag their toys from their bedroom. Harley drags them from her little box. There's some more. Don't you, sweet Harley? And even Charlie plays occasionally. You guys ready to go outside? Go outside? Go outside? Oh, they get excited about going outside, even early on a Sunday morning. Backstage, get ready to go get on the four wheeler. I like that hair, don't you? It's nice of you to tie your brother's shoe. same shot you see over and over again on our way guess where <laughs> to church yes we are going to the church for the weekend we do five services on the weekend at Cooper and different numbers at different campuses but anyways it's a rainy day kind of a nasty day and since this is a behind the scenes look in the life of a pastor let me tell you kind of how it, it affects you um, you minister all week long. You encourage people, pray for people, um, challenge, inspire, uh, visit with, all those kind of things. But you also prepare for the weekend. Prepare to um, inspire and challenge um, to teach God's Word, which, you know, um, of course, as Christ followers, we believe has incredible uh, power to, to transform people's lives. So you want to have as many people as possible that then can go out and share this hope. I mean, the scripture, one time Jesus was looking at some of his, some of his boys, some of his guys following him, and he's like, you know, the harvest is white. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will send workers. In other words, there's lots of folks who need hope, but we need some folks to go tell them about that hope. And that's really what the weekend is. It's, it's an opportunity, you know, to, to tell people who come and have not experienced that hope but then it's an opportunity for those who hear the hope to go out and tell others. So you're always praying for, you know, big crowds. You're, you're praying for a bunch of people to experience what you've experienced in Christ. And when it's rainy and it's nasty and it's real easy for um, folks just to kind of stay home, um, you have to overcome that. It's very easy to get discouraged because you've worked so hard and people are going to miss it. They're going to miss the preparation for the worship, for a feature song, for uh, some kind of video. And then, of course, the teaching that you spent all week, you know, kind of investigating what God's um, word says and, and all of that. So that's kind of the uh, and when I was young, you, you know, you get frustrated and you'd be committed and you actually take it out on the ones who are there which is crazy. They came, <laughs> they got out of their car, got the umbrella or, you know, the snowshoes, depending on where you live and came. So why take it out on them? But anyways, that's what you learn with a little bit of maturity, but it still um, can be discouraging uh, because it affects ministry the next week. People don't hear things. They don't know things. Um, it impacts um, giving, which is the way in which God has designed for the church to to have the resource of, of money um, to, to do the things that it does. So anyways, just thought I'd share why rain, snow, and sleet can sometimes, although the kids love it uh, when it comes to school, pastors, it's not quite the same. Backstage, getting ready to go out yeah. for staff meeting. Are you ready for staff meeting, Carson? Yes, I am. What about you, Bailey? Yeah. Bailey's going to staff meeting. That's one of the great things about being part of, what do you actually call it? What do 
do you mean? Internet school or? Oh, Florida Virtual. Florida Virtual. Da 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 da.